I don't know if whoever did this felt Ruth realises the significance of what's happened here. But uh, this drip here is such an important part of a roof. And they've, as you can see there, they've taken the felt right up past the drip. Now, with the capillary action of any water that runs, it comes down here and it goes across. There, it's just going to get right underneath that and run down the back of that. And there's not going to be a lot of water there. And if the lady's lucky here, she's got away with that. But one of the reasons why I'm looking at this new roof, and it is a new roof, high tensile felt, really nice felt if it's laid properly. If you look at this roof, it's pretty new. But what they've actually done is to not realise the big problems with this roof. And um, although it's probably not um, leaking from the felt itself, it's um, leaking from the parapet walls, I would assume here. However, this bit here concerns me because if I touch this here, that's full of water underneath there. Now the lady tells me that they stripped the old roof. Can, we, can you see that moving everywhere? And if I move that, it pushes the water up. Now, if you look at this, more than likely the water's getting in there um, and getting down to that point. I mean, this is completely shot here. Um, and I can only conclude that there's two or three layers of felt. There should be three layers of felt there, and that's in between the two. But I don't know. So theoretically, we've got no choice here but to strip the whole roof, even though it's only a year, 18 months old. Um, but like most things I see, it's the parapet walls that cause the problem. And this is quite uh, an interesting scenario just here because, um, again, we look at the drip. This is an old coping stone. And if you look at the back of this, the drip, which was here, um, is broken away. Like here, the drip's missing. Um, and where the drip has broken away, you can see evidence of the water um, running down the wall. If you look over there, you can see it. it's literally green everywhere it's, it's divots in. And um, it's because of the drip not being there. Now, of course, if this was the other side and the felt lapped up against it, you can see the felt is then um, uh, taking the water down behind, and that's why you've got water getting it and the roof's leaking. And it's not actually the roof leaking, it's the water that's getting behind the felt um, at a high level because of the parapet walls and the drips are not correct.